This past week, on Thursday, an amazing occurrence happened to me that really gave me uh, a breath of, of fresh air. Uh, a weight was taken away from my shoulders, and I would like to be able to share it with you. But first, you have to understand a little bit of background. Thursday was officially my last day of work for the school in Milwaukee. And I have been very concerned, as I have shared with you in the past, about trying to find something to do here in Eretz Yisrael, particularly as Chinuch here is very different. And my assumption, and as well as the information that many people have shared with me, is that Chinuch is very different here, and it is unlikely that I would be able to continue my profession here. And therefore, I have been very concerned about what it is that I will be able to do. I have explored some options, and they have potential, but an amazing thing happened on Thursday. I had spoken to a number of schools over the past number of months, again, still trying to explore the opportunity of doing something here in Chinuch, perhaps coaching. And again, I was reinforced with this opinion that Chinuch here is very different. In fact, one school that I had spoken with, after speaking to me for a, a long time, and they were very happy with a lot of the things I had to say, started encouraging me to look at other things outside of the Chinuch realm, because again, it didn't. It was not popular opinion that it's able to be done. And then, a week ago, I get a phone call that a school, actually the school that actually had met me before, that had encouraged me to take on other avenues, called me back and asked if they could meet with me on Thursday, because they had some classes they thought that I would be able to help them with. So I went there and I met them on Thursday, and they started talking to me about a full-time Manal position. And they started talking to me about a full-time Manal position. And I was blown away. It was so clear to me before that that was not an option. But that which was unthinkable before that was all of a sudden being discussed and presented to me. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get the job or not. But what I did get is that we have to learn how not to limit ourselves by assumptions or by limiting beliefs that's out there. There's so many times that we don't try and we don't even daven to Hashem for our things because it's beyond our uh, imagining that they are possible. But the truth is there's nothing that's limited. Because it all comes from Hashem. And that's the meaning of the Pasik. We say at the end of Haidu, I am Hashem, your God that brought you up from Eris Mitzrayim. Widen your mouth, and I will fill it. I've always been very curious why it says Herchev Picho. Why not say Tiftach Picho? And most feelers that we use that lotion of, of, of I am trying to convey the message, I'm going to open my mouth and daven. It's Tiftach Picho. Hashem Swasai, Tiftach Picho. What's Hercha Picho? Wide in your mouth. If I open my mouth wider, the feelers are going to be more in this cavil. But I think it's this concept. Don't limit your feelers. Don't, Don't be mitzumtzum. Hercha Picho. Open your mouth wide, meaning. Ask for things that you couldn't imagine that you could have before. Widen your concepts, widen your horizons, widen your tefillahs. And Hashem says, I'm the one who took you out of Mitzrayim, a place where not a single slave ever escaped for hundreds of years. It was beyond comprehension that a nation, a complete nation, would be taken out. So Hashem says, I took you out of Mitzrayim, I can help you with your needs. Just ask for it. Open your mouths wide. Ask for the stars, and Hashem has the ability to answer us.